Wellington is mopping up after a deluge this morning caused slips, surface flooding and water to surge into basements in buildings across the CBD. The council fielded dozens of flooding related calls from half past eight this morning. The higher taste restaurant in the old bank arcade was flooded for the third time since last July when the damage was so bad it had to close for eight weeks, costing the business thousands of dollars. Our reporter Laura Dooney and camerawoman Rebecca Parsons-King went to talk to Yagdish Prasad, who runs the restaurant, and said it was sheer panic today. I was walking out of my house to get into the vehicle, and between my house and my vehicle, which was about five, five metres, I was, I was soaking. So you can understand how, how bad the rain was. Uh, and immediately the thought in my mind was that, that, hey, what's happening in the restaurant? And the next thing is I get a phone call saying, we got a flooding. And um, they said, uh, once again, we've been flooded. Um, so my first uh, question was, where is the water coming from? Because usually the water comes down the step from the, the, the junction of Hunter Street and Custom House Key. Uh, and this time around, um, it was nothing like that. The water was coming from Hunter Street, from the walls. It seems like it was seeping through the, through the footpath and down into the, uh, into the restaurant. It was uh, sheer panic because uh, they were halfway into the cooking when, they, uh, when one of the chefs walked out and the next thing he sees is a pond of water. So obviously you can understand. Uh, and because they have been through this uh, on a number of occasions and they know the consequences of it, um, it was a sheer panic once again. Last year, uh, in July, um, that's when the flooding came through the front door where the front window and um, the window was smashed and the water came through there and at that stage it went right throughout the restaurant. So this time we were lucky that it's only in one half. That time it went right throughout the restaurant. Uh, as you can see the, the carpet has been removed. So now it's a question of getting the floor dried once again. The council had already spent a lot of money uh, trying to find a solution. Last year, around September, we were told uh, that the council is going to stop the entranceway from Hunter Street into the restaurant. They were going to barricade that with the uh, uh, concrete wall and the entranceway will be changed. It was an expensive exercise, um, but disappointingly, uh, two weeks ago, uh, we were informed that they have dropped that idea and now they're not going to go ahead with it. So what's, what's the new plan? Well, really, I don't, we don't have much choice. Um, it's more to do with the landlord and the city council. We are, just, we are just renting this space. Is it costing the business a lot of money? Obviously, yes. I mean, um, we do have uh, uh, insurance cover there. The council really needs to take some active action. Um, unfortunately, at this stage, they are saying that it comes down to money. But um, while they are saving money, um, we are the ones who are losing. Wellington Water spokesperson Alex Van Parsons says the challenge with that particular property is that it's below ground level and when it pours down, water flows towards the lowest point. He says there have been conversations with the property manager and the building owner about closing off one entrance into the street, but he's not sure where things are at.